Greetings and salutations, my name is JW608, and today I am playing Star Maid. And I got a suggestion. I got a suggestion from Tashara. He saved the day. He can fix my uh, my beams. He said, why don't you put it on a docked entity, dummy? He didn't call me a dummy. I called me a dummy. They said, uh, because I'm not, I, I didn't think of that. I don't think of docking entities like that. But we're going to, uh, if you recall, my conundrum was I wanted a beam to fire. Uh, let's see, let's get it the same orientation as the main ship. I wanted a beam to fire up this column. It was going to be real cool and such. But uh, I had a problem. Actually, we're going to knock all this out for right now. Because the beam, a, a ship cannot hit itself with a beam. It would pass through it. A docked entity, however, will hit itself with a beam, although it doesn't do anything to its mothership. The beam will stop. So we're going to make a docked entity beam stuff. Uh, we're going to take that. Yeah, and we're just going to do it like this, except not really. Oh, no, 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 it doesn't hit itself. We're going to make it under that. Okay. Then get rid of these, and now for we can leave the the ice shelf here. Ice shelf. <laughs> All right. Have our ice crystals and our last beam there. And it doesn't matter which way they point, because we want to go grab a. It's a cannon computer. I would like a damage beam computer. Four. And we are going to point it upwards. We're going to grab these four. Now we're going to build us some logic stuff. But before we do that, we're going to confirm that this works and it's going to fire. Oh, it's not going to fire because it needs to charge. It's going to fire and... Oh, well, no, no, no. Actually, yes, yes, yes. Fire. Yeah, there we go. And it hits the... Oh. It hits the mothership, but with my particular... My particular, um, hack... My mod, it uh, <laughs> it gives a nifty explosion effect. I have a graphical mod on installed. It's gonna give that funky glow. Actually, that's that's kind of cool. So we know that works. Pop that button. No, we're gonna leave that button there. We're also going to put that ice block back and make sure this button we're going to remove that button at the last minute it's going to be a testing button we're going to get a delay that's not a delay oh that is a delay and then and and a not and an activator activation block to not not to and and a delay delay to main machine uh, we would like a one of these here. Hmm. I want a wireless block right there. You do you, you do you. So when the wireless turns on, go and everything goes right except you need to come back this way and control that. Let's kick start it. And now it should be, yeah, it should be firing those beams up. A little bit of graphical nonsense going on. But, mm, not too bad. Awesome. And the, the big rings of doom are from my uh, my mod pack. I might uninstall that, for, or at least disable it for the sake of, uh, sake of this video. Alright, and let's grab a blue light, not a teal light, a blue light, and put it here. We want you to... There we go. So now, when it fires, 
I have blue lights firing with a blue ring instead of red. Ooh, actually, the blue ring is kind of cool. Awesome. And thank you to Shara for your wonderful help in getting this thing to work right. And we're going to pop that off. There we go. Amazing. All right. Now to get the, the other logic working. Let's come here. And we are going to then cut a hole right here. Awesome. And we're going to get a block there. We're going to put one of these right on top of it. We're going to, well, we can't feed that to it here. But we can come up here to our blocks. And if you are on, then my friend, you are on. And you are on. So we're going to turn them oh, on. Okay. How are we going to do this? Gonna bring this out just a touch, but before we get all carried away, we are going to get out of the ship. We're gonna discover, hey, I'm on the bridge. I need to be not in the bridge. That's gonna be annoying, but hey. Uh, we need to come upstairs, then this way. To see our cool power thingy going on here. Then through this door. We're going to close that behind us. Then through the main factory floor door. Ooh. Then we come here and we hit the button to ride the elevator down. Bask in the glory of the factory floor. I need stuff. Just boxes and stuff here in the middle. Then we're going to come and we're going to press... C and B. There we go. And it is now connected. I'm going to go grab a build block. We are going to head back upstairs into the um, office rooms. So we're going to throw a build block in there. So I don't have to walk all the way back to the bridge. You don't have to walk all the way back to the bridge, Dadipa. You can um, you can F on F8 back into the ship, but Means when I get out, I'll have to walk all the way back. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, what's this? Cargo control. No. Uh, that's the breaker room. We're gonna throw this in the bathroom. No, in the um, just general electric room. But right. When I get out, it throws me outside. Cool. And gravity was on. Now, we're going to probably should uh, F1, F8 back into it. Actually, we are going to cheat and we're going to jump. That's not cheating. It's just jumping. Okay, so now we're going to hop into this build block again. And we're going to throw some dark gray standard or whatever, whatever I want behind it. If I can never find it again. Are you going to throw it behind it? That way, when you get out, it forces you on this side. Cool, huh? And because it's a potential need for gravity, we're going to throw a gravity block there. You need one in one of these control rooms anyway. Right, so that is now hooked up properly. So now if we come to here and we turn off the power blocks, that is off. Except I want this not to be controlled by this. Uh, so where are you? You, I don't want you to control... That block. I want you to control this block. And I want this block to control this block as well. So that way you can turn these off if they ever get annoying. Alright. Let's throw some symmetry. 
Let's throw out some might be ready symmetry and build this out just a touch. Okay, we're going to do something like this. There we go. Cool. That's actually reaching into the area of another machine, but that's fine for right now. Like this flavor now. And let's bring you here and grab a little of this flavor of symmetry and run it this way. It's going to come back to this back wall and meld in. All right. Nope, nope, nope. How about we grab some uh, gray advanced gray standard? And we make a joint here. I don't really want the joint on the other side or the one above it either. Hmm. Well, that was interesting. Always keep in mind what flavor of symmetry you have on. All right, and then we are going to throw up some, some of these guys. And some of these guys. Okay, and how about this? We grab some of these blue... Or are they blue guys? Yeah, these guys. Which way are you flowing? Yeah, you're flowing... You flow the direction of the arrow. Awesome. Okay, and then let's grab some of this... And something like that. All right. Okay. And then let's grab our symmetry again. I want this flavor of symmetry now. And your flow in the direction of the arrow, which is actually kind of convenient. I want it flowing down. I want it looking like it's flowing down this machine. And I'm doing that wrong because I don't know why I know I know how I'm doing it wrong. I don't know why I'm doing it wrong. I'm doing it wrong because I have symmetry set off. Yeah, there we go. We're not gonna do that one, we're going to build some sort of, like, cu uh, coupler-type unit there. We're just going to come down like this. And go turn off that type of symmetry. Roll back up this symmetry. Oh, wow, this symmetry is getting confusing awful quick, isn't it? <laughs> okay, and then we want it to go that way. Uh, it doesn't flow at all this side. We're just going to put, like, no, no, no. I want it coming down. Yeah, down. Come down and flow this way. And just plug those holes with our gray standard. Ooh, fancy. I really should have had those to be curved. So what we're going to do is we're going to... Uh, pick with camera, replace with active. Uh, we're going to throw up some, might be righty signal symmetry. We're going to say we want that, and there we go. All right. Let's turn off the sit signal symmetry symmetry here, and let's just do. Ooh, and spin around and there. All right. Clear. Uh, we'll get rid of these two anyway. I put like a hepta. 
can't see. Is that the right? Yeah, that's the right one. And one over here. There, that gives it more of a pipe look, if you will. I think. Well, I think it does. All right. So now we have this pipe coming down. Looks like it's feeding this machine that's shooting the the air, and we can turn off the the beams if you don't like them. In fact, we're going to that reset and remove it this way. And we're going to throw in a display module right here. We're going to go beams on black. In case you just don't like the beams. I can see you not liking the beams, especially if you're like trying to stealth somewhere and then beams. Oh, oh, cool. Hey, the um, <laughs> the special effects mod keeps going. <laughs> anyway, I think I'm happy with that. I thank you very much to Shara for, for uh, suggesting that. I wasn't even thinking. Hmm. So, I have been JW608. This has been Star Made, and I will dig you cats later.